Hello my fellow readers, welcome to Ren Reads. I just woke up about an hour ago. It's 9 o'clock a.m. and it's September 19th, I believe. And I woke up being in a reading mood and in today's video, I'm going to be filming a daily reading vlog or something. It's just going to be a reading vlog of today. Um, I will be picking up Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. I've actually really been wanting to read this book. This is obviously like the Netflix um, adaptation cover. And I know it's a show on Netflix, but I wanted to read the book first. And I actually found this book in one of the um, those book library pop-up things. So it was free. And it's a little damaged right here. But I mean, it was a free book. And it's very short. And I thought it would be a perfect book to read. Um, for this vlog and so yeah that's what I'm going to be reading if you like these types of reading vlog types of videos make sure you give it a big thumbs up click that red button down below to subscribe to become part of my reading family and without a further ado let's get started with the reading vlog okay so I'm just going to be like discussing what this book's what this book is about I believe it's like a psychological thriller but let me just go ahead and read the summary for you Okay, it says, Fresh from a brief stay at a psych hospital, reporter Camille Preaker faces a troubling assignment. She must return to her tiny hometown to cover the murders of two preteen girls. For years, Camille has hardly spoken to her neurotic, hypochondriac mother or to the half-sister she barely knows, a beautiful 13-year-old with an eerie grip on the town. Now installed in her old bedroom in her family's Victorian mansion, Camille finds herself identifying with the young victims a bit too strongly. Dodged by her own demons, she must unravel the psychological puzzle of her own past if she wants to get the story and survive this homecoming. So this sounds very intriguing to me. I haven't read really like anything like this, I would say. Um, I believe uh, it is a psychological thriller. And yeah, some of the comments are like nasty, addictive reading, skillful and disturbing, darkly original, riv riveting tale. And that just sounds like yes like a good time and i believe it's only like 254 pages and so hopefully it'll be a quick read i do have things to do today like i have to do a test and then my aunt is coming from dallas to do my eyelashes um to get like eyelash extensions because i'm going out of town next week um to like a camping festival which i'm super excited for um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get as much reading as I can with this. And if I don't finish it, I'll just go over to tomorrow, I guess, um, cause I'm off of work tomorrow as well. And so yeah, let's go ahead and dive deep into this book. Oh God! Someone tell her to stop. Just kidding. <laughs> <God. laughs> Don't judge me, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's even that. You're taking that ugly picture. You going to McKinney with us? You're going to have that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I guess I get a little money now.
Okay, so my reading plans to never really go the way that I plan them. It is almost 12 a.m. the same day, um, September 19th, and I've only read a little bit of Sharp Objects. It's actually really good and intriguing. Um, I'm at the part where like Camille has went back to her hometown and she's doing, it's not really an investigation, but she's trying to write an article about these girls who went missing in her hometown. And so she's seeing familiar faces. She's seen her mom and her half sister and got acquainted with them. And she actually just attended a funeral because one of the girls that was missing, she ended up being dead. Um, actually two of them ended up being dead. And yeah, it's pretty like eerie a little bit, just the way that the victims are killed, like their teeth are being pulled out and stuff. And so they're just trying to find the killer. Um, she's trying to, speak with like the policeman as well as other people in the town and that's basically all i've read i've read three chapters so far i'm on chapter four page 47 and i am going to be heading to dallas for a funeral tomorrow unfortunately so i will have um time to read there and on the way back so i'm sure i will finish this tomorrow hopefully that's my plan so far but you know how things go um, so yeah, that's the update and I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Oh God, this book guys, this book, it is about 11.45, um, I just got back, or just got back in town from Dallas, and I just finished this book like two minutes ago, and I'm just like trying to process everything, and I don't even know what to say, like I think I'm gonna rate it like a three- a 3.5 to 4 stars I'm not sure yet I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a 3.5 stars um it was a great read it was suspenseful thriller psychological like I will say there's like a crap ton of trigger warnings for this like there's self-harm um there's death there's drug abuse um and so if that any of that triggers you I would say stay away from this book even though it's really good um, I kind of fig I kind of figured out who the killer was, like by the middle of the book, but I kind of didn't think it was that it was gonna be that. I don't want to spoil it, but I don't know. I kind of figured it out, kind of didn't, but like the ending, like kind of had a twist, and it was just like it was just like gripping me, and I could not put this book down. I'm actually really excited to watch the show on Netflix because I just know it's going to be good. Also, this book, oh my god, it is very explicit and vulgar. Like, there are so many cuss words. There are so many, like, explicit sex scenes in this book. So, be warned um, of that, too, because I was just like, uh, when is this going to end? But other than that, it's really good. I like the main character, Camille. There were some chapters where I was like, it's not really necessary um, they didn't talk about, like, the investigation a lot um, within those chapters. They just talked about, like, sex and the characters and drinking and I don't even know, honestly. Um, but, yeah, I'm either going to rate, I'm probably going to rate this 3.5, but it was good. Um, I really don't know what else to say. I really don't want to, like, spoil anything. But, yeah, I definitely recommend picking this up if you don't think the trigger warnings will bother you or anything but yeah once again for this video i read sharp objects by gillian flynn i honestly really like the style writing of this book i don't know if i'll read any more 
books by this author just because she does include like a lot of cuss words and vulgar scenes which I'm not really a fan of um but other than that it was still good like I said like 10 times all right so that's everything for this vlog I hope you enjoyed I haven't done like a single book reading vlog in a while and I really enjoy them because I just like focusing on one book and getting it over with um and yeah I'm really glad that I picked this up at the free library thing because um, I enjoyed the book and it was just like a good read. I needed some thriller in my life. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Click that red button down below to subscribe to become part of my reading family and to follow me on my reading journey. And comment down below if you read this book before and like let me know what your thoughts are on about this book. And yeah, I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.